Okay, good morning once again. This is a continuation of health. So the importance of oral health according to the Philippine Dental Association. So we have 100 million Filipinos. No? So that, that doesn't go to the dentist in a yearly basis. But this is very concerning. So usually the regular oral care like brushing and flossing, uh, going to the dentist twice a year, can prevent most severe dental conditions. So lingering tooth pain or gum swelling can contribute to the larger issues if left untreated. So beyond losing your teeth, poor dental health is associated with increased risk for conditions such as heart disease or this is the systemic disease. Remember that you don't need to have a symptoms to go to the dentist. You can keep your mouth as healthy and pain-free as possible if you go before symptoms starts. Okay, so since this uh, pandemic year, you know, so we don't like to go to the clinic. So we will, I will give you an alternative remedies for dental problems. Okay, number one, the toothache. As we all know, toothache yan pag umatake yan, ang ang sakit niyan, no? Hindi lang sa ipin the whole body no? so what can you do if you have toothache it's very important to figure out what is the root of your discomfort from there you can determine how the best relieve any pain swelling or other symptoms no? so a regular salt water rinse and cold compress application can typically remedy no? the minor uh, irritation but more serious toothaches may require a dentist intervention okay so let's move on so salt water rinse for many people a salt and water rinse is an effective first line of treatment salt water is a natural disinfectant and it can help loosen food particles and debris that may be stuck in a, in between your teeth. So, ito yung naglilinag, na, nagwash out, no? So, treating a tooth ache with salt water, trusted source can also help reduce inflammation. Inflammation means pamamaga, no? And it can heal any oral wounds. So, how do you do this? So, just mix one half teaspoon of salt into a glass of warm water and use it as a mouthwash. Number two, cold compress. No? You may use a cold compress to relieve any pain you're experiencing, especially if you, any type of trauma has caused your toothache. When you apply a cold compress, it causes the blood vessels in the area to constrain. This makes pain less severe. Then cold can also reduce any swelling and inflammation. So, the approach here is hold the towel, wrap bag of ice, like yung ice dun sa towel, then uh, put the ice bag on the uh, affected area 20 minutes at a time. You can repeat this every few hours. Next, we have the hydrogen peroxide rinse. Nang kay matakot pag yung naglulunan na yun, hydrogen peroxide. So, this may also help to relieve pain and inflammation in addition to killing bacteria hydrogen peroxide can reduce plaque and heal blood bleeding gums how to do it so make sure you properly dilute the hydrogen peroxide ha hindi pa pwedeng pure diluted dapat siya to do this you have uh, to mix 3% hydrogen peroxide with equal parts of water and use it as a mouthwash. Don't swallow it, remember. The next one is the peppermint tea bags. So peppermint tea bags can be used to numb pain and soothe sensitive gums. You can use it uh, to cool down before applying it to the affected area. So palamigin nyo lang muna. It should still be slightly warm. Huwag naman sobrang lamig. No? Medyo mainit-init pa ng konti. 
so you can also swap approaches and use this to cool rather than warm the area alam naman natin na ang peppermint di ba napakalamig sa bibig so to do this put a used tea bag in the freezer for a couple of minutes to chill it and then apply the bag to your tooth next we have the garlic so for thousands of years garlic has been recognized and used for its medicinal properties not only can it kill harmful bacteria that cause dental plaque but it can also act as a pain reliever how to use it so you have to crush a garlic log to create a paste and apply it to the affected area you may wish to add a tiny bit of salt so this is an alternative you can also slowly chew a gloves of fresh garlic then we can use also vanilla extract so vanilla extract contains alcohol which can help to numb pain but since I'm going numb, numb man here it pro proven's antioxidant properties also make it an effective killer how to use it so you have to dab a small amount of vanilla extract onto your finger or a cotton ball then apply it directly to the affected area a few times per day next we have the clove no? it has been used to treat toothaches throughout history no? because the oil can effectively numb pain and reduce inflammation it contains eugenol which is natural antiseptic no? to do it is dab a small amount of clove oil onto a cotton ball and apply it to the affected area you may want to dilute the gloves oil with a few drops of a carrier oil like uh, olive oil or water so do this in few times per day or you can also add a drop of clove oil to a small glass of water and make it a mouthwash the other one is the guava leaf so guava leaves has an anti-inflammatory properties that can help heal wounds they also have antibacterial activities that can aid in oral care so you have to chew our fresh guava leaves or add crushed guava leaves to boiling water to make a mouthwash actually guava leaves are maraming ginagamita dyan, no? then you can use wheatgrass wheatgrass has countless healing properties and can work to heal your body from the inside if taken internally it can relieve inflammation in your mouth and prevent infection it ha its high chlorophyll content can also fight bacteria so how to do it simply use with gas juice as your mouthwash time okay napakabango nito no? time also has a powerful antibacterial and antioxidant properties that can help to treat toothaches no? Dab a few drops of thyme essential oil and a few drops of water on top cotton ball. Then after diluting the oil with water, apply it to the affected area. You can also add a drop of the oil to small glass of water and make it a mouthwash. Babango pa yung hininga ninyo. But, ito na. If your symptoms persist for more than a day or two, you may see your dentist. They can provide guidance on how to relieve your symptoms and prevent future pain. No, hindi kayo. These are only uh, first aid. No, remedy lang to sa bahay. Eh, kung hindi kayo makapunta, you can do it. You can do it. No, pero if no, be sure to go to the dentist. You should also talk to your dentist before using any of the following remedies. Lalo na kung pregnant kayo, buntis kayo, nagbe-breastfeed, or have any medical condition that may be impacted by herbal ingredients. Kasi minsan meron tayong mga allergic, react allergic reaction no, on that matter. So these are the samples, the, 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 the bleeding gum. Ito, no, mabisa dito, is the lukewarm water with salt. 
try to gather it. Gargle it. No? The signs and symptoms. No? Uh, gum disease can be painless. No? So it is important to be aware of any of the following symptoms. Gums that easily bleed when brushing or flossing. So swollen, red, or tender gums. Gums that recede or move away from the tooth. Ito yung bumababa na yung gums na yun. Nakikita na yung ugat ng ipin ninyo. Persistent bad breath or bad taste in mouth. Pag nakita nyo yung katabi nyo, nagkasalita kayo, kaharap nyo, umiiwan, baka may bad breath kaya. Loose teeth. May mga umuugang ipin. A change in the way of your tooth uh, or teeth come together. So, naglumuluwag siya. So, a change in the feet of partial denture. So, minsan nag-iiba na rin yung uh, fittings ng denture ninyo. Kung may, kung may denture kayo. Denture is postizo in Tagalog. So, visible parts surrounding the teeth and gum. Pag pinipsan ninyo, may lumalabas na kulay puti or medyo madilaw dilaw. Short or dull pains when chewing foods. Pag makain kayo, Hmm, masakit din sa no? tingnan ikakagat. And teeth that are overly sensitive to cold or hot temperature. Tayo kasi mga Pilipino, when we drink uh, hot, no or when we eat hot foods, sasabayan natin agad ng cold. No? Nagkakaroon ng crazy line yung uh, mga ipin natin. Pag sila yung crazy line, nagkakrack. No? So that is the cause. How to prevent it? So, proper brushing and flushing go a long way towards keeping gum disease at bay. Using an antibacterial toothpaste or mouth, mouth rinses can kill bacteria and lessen the amount of plaque into your mouth. So, removing dental plaque is the key to preventing gum disease. Kasi sumisiksik yan dun sa ilalim, pagitan ng ngipin at saka ng gums natin. So that we can improve the, the health of our mouth. So salt water memory areas. Sabi ko sa inyo, pag namamaga itong gums nyo, the best din ito. No? It has a anti-inflammatory and antiseptic property that help reduce the swelling and combat infections that cause bleeding gums. All you need is wa warm water and some salt. Mix the two and rinse your mouth thoroughly with the solution. Use it at least two to three times a day. Mumug nyo yan. Then we can use also honey. Uh, it takes some raw honey on your fingertips. Be sure that your honey is pure, ha? Hindi yun nabibili natin mura. Kasi yun napakaluan na yun. May, 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 bag, may ingredients na naiba. And massage it to your gum gently. Kasi ang honey kasi pag pure, medyo maasim-asim na matapis. And this is has an anti-inflammatory properties that help keep the bacteria causing bleeding gums. Make sure you apply honey on your gums regularly. Cranberry juice. no? Take some unsweetened cranberry juice and drink it on a daily basis. Cranberry compromise phenolic acids and atosyanin which are known to have an antimicrobial property that help keep your teeth and gums off the harmful bacteria. Be sure na wala siyang sugar. Huh? Then, oil pulling. No? Oil pulling is a process of swishing some oil in your mouth to help fight infections that cause your gums to bleed. So, rinse with coconut uh, oil or sesame oil to ensure that your mouth is wet is a worry of harmful bacteria to grow. Turmeric, no? Luyang dilaw. No? Turmeric has long been known to help heal infections. Take to it therapeutic properties. Uh, thanks to its therapeutic properties, no? It's curcumin compound said to have anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties that help stop the gums from bleeding. All you need to do is mix some turmeric and mustard oil together and massage the mixture gently on the gum. But, okay, ito na naman, no? 
a professional cleaning by your dentist or hygienist is the only way to remove plaque that has built up and hardened into tartar. Hindi nyo matatagal, matatanggal yan with the ordinary toothbrushing and flushing. So, you need help no? so, uh, by uh, professionals no? na gumagawa nito. You cannot do it with your own. Then, we have the lip and tongue disorders. So, the lip may undergo changes in size, color, and surface. Some of these changes may indicate a medical problem. Other changes are harmless. With aging, the lips may grow thinner. Kaya matatanda, nagpapalaki pa ng, nagpapainject pa ng lips, no? So, chilitis. Chap lips is a common and uncomfortable issue. Home remedies can help get rid of chap lips without drying them out further. Chilitis means, yung like, natutuyo yung lips ninyo. Okay? So, home remedies, drink water. So, nade-dehydrate na kayo, no? So, people may not notice when they are slightly dehydrated. So, it is a good idea to make a habit of drinking water throughout the day. So, a glass of water or more, mas maganda. You can use aloe vera. This gel forms inside the leaves of aloe vera plants. No? Contains vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants and anti-inflammatories that suits and rehydrate damaged skin. We have also the coconut oil made from the flesh of coconuts. This oil combats inflammation and is emollient, which means that it can suit and soften the skin. Honey, it is high moisturizing, which makes it a good treatment for dry lips. Honey also contains antioxidants and antibacterial properties, which help prevent infections from developing in extremely dry or cracked lips. Then we have the cucumber pepino, diba? It can gently moisturize the lips and may contain vitamins and minerals that could improve the lips appearance. You can use also green tea. Rich in antioxidants and minerals, green tea also contains polyphenols, which reduce inflammation. Soak a bag of uh, green tea in warm water and gently rub it over the lips to soften and remove excess dry skin. Then, technique is more gentle than traditional exfoliation. So, eto. So, marami tayo. No? The lip sores, ulcers, or singaw. No? Eh, maraming klase ng singaw. No? A lip sore with hard edges may be a form of skin cancer. No? Be cautious with it. No? Sores may also develop as symptoms of other medical conditions, such as erythema multiforme, oral herpes, simple virus infection, or syphilis. So, spots on the lips may occur. No? Multiple small, scattered, brownish black spot may be a sign of hereditary disease called surgeon syndrome, in which polyps form in the stomach and intestines. Tingnan nyo, the, uh, connected sa systemic natin ang oral. No? So, really, smokers develop non-cancerous brown spots on the lips. Kung kayo ay naninigarilyo, nagkakaroon niya ng stay. So, near with the cigarette health. Freckles and irregularity shaped brownish areas. Or the, this is what we call the melano, melanotic muscles are common around the lips and may last for many years. These marks are not cause for concern. Then we have the tongue disorder. Thrush, a type of yeast infection, translates the development of bumpy white patches on the tongue. Burning mouth syndromes, the exact cause of burning mouth syndrome which creates a burning sensation on the tongue and other areas of the mouth is unknown. It might be caused by nerve damage, allergies, nutritional deficiencies, or hormonal changes. 
Then we have the glossitis. The glossitis means swelling of the tongue. What are the remedies? No? Garlic salt water is another way to reduce pain, inflammation, and prevent infection. Mix a teaspoon of salt in a cup of water. Swiss it around your mouth, gargle, and spit. Or you may use coconut oil. May be able to heal a sore tongue because of its antifungal, antibacterial, and antiviral properties. Apply the oil directly to the sore area with a cotton ball, rubbing it gently, or you can swish it around in your mouth and spit it out. This is called oil pulling. Honey, a natural antibacterial and has been shown to be effective in treating several types of wounds. You can rub a bit of honey directly on the sore area a few times per day or drink a water tea with honey. Ice, ice pops, and cold water. So ice has numbing qualities, so drinking ice cold water or sucking on an ice cube or ice pop can help relieve some soreness including soreness caused by dry mouth or a burning mouth. So you have to avoid spicy foods, irritating foods, no? like acidic, no? so like, like pineapple, lemon, tomato, of course spicy, chili. No? It can worsen the tongue soreness. Until the soreness goes away, avoid this food. Instead, of it, instead you, you have to eat soft, Blanched food, bland foods like mashed potatoes and oatmeal. You can use also aloe vera. This is known for its skin soothing abilities. This is also applied to the tongue. You can rinse your mouth with aloe vera juice and few times per day. So that's all for the remedy on the oral health. Huh? But always keep in mind that these are only temporary you have to seek a professional doctor or dentist thank you and good day everyone